divide and concur example from concerned. Waptech, I got an email from the blackmailer who is south of Spain telling me I better do a video bashing his target and take the blackmailer's side or I will face the consequences and the blackmailer said he has a big file on me well I told him I will never be flipped and lie about his target the blackmailer can do what he wants I have absolutely clean record no skeletons in my closet now I don't know what version of my presumed identity he dug up info on I do have similar named relatives I refuse to do anything to the blackmailers target look at a certain freedom fighter of the Nibiru type 2018 making all those anti-target videos why I'll tell you why the blackmailer scared him and it's very sad Okay, now that we've gotten that out of our systems here, one of the many names that came up as potentially the blackmailer, or also people who might have hired the blackmailer, who also runs a loan shark thing on the internet, um, one of the names that came up is also someone who's pulled this crap before and may have hired him or may have been targeted by him. We'll never know. A certain person who wears orange in a certain picture on a certain website that's readily available, you can go look at it, it does prove everything we've ever said about them. And uh, then there's another guy who always waves a badge and says he's a sheriff and he's in Michigan. He visited Portland and didn't know I was in the background of one of his videos waving over the top of a car at him when he was maybe pressured into doing something to go after me. Or just the, you know, the actual blackmailer himself just messing with uh, a certain freedom fighter. One of the things that um, the supposed truther community and conspiracy theorists in general do is they refuse to give all information, either because they're trying to tease you forward or act like they have more information than you do and it makes them feel powerful, or maybe they don't know the answer. It's a kind of a dishonest behavior pattern that you see in a lot of people. They're like, oh, that we'll wait that for next week. We have to have a cliffhanger. Well, that's great and all, but that doesn't mean that anybody knows what the hell you're talking about. The other tendency, people in the, I will call them half-truther community, actually, and conspiracy theorists do, is they refuse to post non-changeable data. A good example is a video I did a while ago where it supposedly showed someone's criminal record, but it had a bunch of missing data in it, so it's invalid as hell. It's, it might just well be faked. By the way, I did track down the actual quote-unquote source, and of course it was run through the Gerberator of going through Google first to get rid of all of the EXIF data, right? I'm not saying Photoshop. Anyway, uh, but when I went through that, that information was partially redacted, so you'd want more. This is an extremely telling not telling kind of thing. So, let's go into this. Uh, why would somebody blackmail somebody on YouTube for the effect? How would they get dirt on someone? Same way everybody gets dirt. You just look up the person's name or any other identifying data and get the rest of it if you can, and then you harass people. That's what people keep doing on the net. Okay, well, why would someone go berserk making hate videos about someone based on that? Because they feel that they have no choice. Not that that's an excuse, but it has to be treated as such. So, let's talk about the possible victim here. First of all, the one who contacted me. Uh, if you're watching. Contact all of your relatives with a similarly spelled or, or angled out name and explain to them that this is happening. Even if they don't want to talk to you, explain to them that somebody on the internet is trying to drag you into it and demanding that you make uh, nasty comments on the net and gang up on someone. Also, if possible, um, I'm going to do a video on how to send your email to a website that permanently makes it to where the email, if it's an email, is truly a copy of it, sort of like WikiLeaks, so it can be checked, but that's probably not what anybody wants to do, and the other end of it is to screenshot it and post it as well, or instead of. 
so that we have a at least an idea of what was said, the formatting, that sort of thing. Sometimes it's important to know when someone hits enter or not. Trust me on that. Data remittance is a load of fun to deal with when people use email systems that include missing and or hidden characters. So anyway, um, I'll just get into this. Um, the blackmailer in question has set up websites that are now going through a privacy system that is going out of its way to make itself very liable and is subject to lawsuit because they've chosen to double and triple down because someone paid them a lot of money. That's a lot of money to sling around just to badmouth people on YouTube. Mr. Loan Shark slash blackmailer. Uh, this falls under RICO if the idiot ever enters the United States immediately. I mean, you're, ju you're just going to go to jail. This is obvious. And if you are in a country that even remotely cares about the European Union contracts and rules, which you are obviously hiding in a country that isn't, um, you will get hauled away. So, just getting that out of the way. But the person who's received this email, contact your relatives and make sure that they know this is happening. Okay? Next, um, until we know what's going on, of course, the blackmailer is going to say, I have dirt on you, but not confirm it, because then you'd know what it was and how they got it. And you don't know that they have any dirt. Sort of like a certain guy in orange with a mugshot making a bunch of nasty comments on all of our channels saying, I'm going to take your channel down. Right. Like we couldn't archive the comments before. Well, we did. And proved that you did it. And a lot of your uh, viewers just started making fun of you because you're a pansy. So, when you lost, you went to a loan shark and dirt digger upper who has turned on every single other person. I'm going to list off the channels that have been, that have been harangued by this unnamed uh, haranguer, this unnamed influence peddler, Rico, Suave, not so Suave, South of Spain, um, Benny, uh, Dark Sky Watcher, uh, everybody who's being victimized now. Uh, Guy in Orange, if you're watching, he always turns on people and he always lies about not doing stuff to them later. If you're being blackmailed and you're a freedom fighter for the Nibiru crowd, he's not going to stop doing it, ever. No, 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 no. You have to literally not get him by the cojones. You have to get out the Nutcracker Suite and smash him. And to Benny, why don't you do a testimonial and add to a testimonial and talk about him getting dirt on you? Would you like advice on how to make the dirt not really affect you? Really, come on. And to the guy in orange, he's going to do it to you too. It's going to happen. You've already seen the pattern. Are you a nitwit? And to our freedom fighter of the Nibiru set, he's not going to stop if you're being blackmailed or screwed with. It's not ever going to go away. You are screwed. You are dead bang screwed. Get advice from people who've been there, done that. doesn't have to be me. It can be anybody. Anybody. Now, I'd like to point out some technical difficulties before I go any further. My channel's been flagged ostensibly by the guy in orange who doesn't know how bad of an idea it is. Why were you the one talked into doing this? No, really. Or did, or did someone do it for you and say they wouldn't use your information later to hijack your life? I'm really wondering. No, really. Seriously. Are you paying attention? Anyway, archiving at archive.is, etc. is suspended on YouTube because YouTube changed their algorithms for the comment section. Dear Freedom Fire for the, for, for the Nibiru set, if you weren't paying attention to the last eight times I told you this, the comment section and entirely the entire YouTube website has been revamped to ghost ban us for no reason and keep you from being able to be seen or to see other people. You should have been able to figure that out. Welcome, welcome to the last, last Tuesday. Come on, seriously. Or last Thursday is the joke. Really, seriously. You don't know this? Uh, did you dig a deep hole because you lost your temper? Or are you being blackmailed? Um, PM the person who's involved and say, don't post this. 
back channel everything. Next, I'd like to point out to the blackmailer in question, the uh, not so Riku Suave. Um, changing your host over to something that makes it to where, I mean, the storage host, to where the privacy website is now making a major risk. You had to pay about, I, th I looked it up, at six thousand dollars. So you spent about you spent about six thousand dollars to hide where your servers are. Okay. Well, all that means is that the company itself gets sued. They get sued all the time. But this behavior is complicity. They are complicit. At this point, they would have to turn over the domain names because at this point, they are the owner. They are literally the source of this. They can't claim it's you anymore because they've done everything to exclude themselves from safe harbor provisions. They no longer have safe harbor. The last time this happened, a certain someone whispered some real data to the server company and it might have actually helped. The rest of us all flagging it might have helped. So you, you know, you had to move your server to something much more expensive and now they're taking a risk. Now I gotta explain this, if, if anybody at that uh, server company actually pays attention, which I'm not even gonna name it, you lose the legal right for all of your principals and employees to be employed doing anything involving IT for a period at minimum of one year and potentially for the entire duration of your lifespan for doing this when it's demonstratively factually true that a person is blackmailing people. That falls under international rules that say that you are never allowed to do it again. If you go to work at like IBM, IBM gets, gets told they have to fire you. Do you really need to go there for some scumbag who runs a loan sharking operation on the net? Some failed used tire salesman. Seriously? Really? Is he really worth that? I'm going to forward the video at this point to them and say, really, the guy only gets like five views a day. He's garbage. Um, Google, I'm going to, hey, Buppy, I'll send this to you guys. Why, why do you keep this guy's pages up? You know it's him for all the pages. You know he's doing this. He isn't getting talked into flagging videos claiming he's some guy in orange, is he? Just, just saying. Now, the video is going to be titled something along the lines of, you know, my thoughts on the last 24 hours. Um, I'm going to repeat a couple of technical, th technical things. Right now, Google is, and YouTube are modifying their, uh, their comment system to where archiving the comments does work. It just sits there infinitely looping, so just leave it. Next, uh, YouTube and Google will eventually uh, fix everything to where I can finally look at and approve the last 15 comments from a year ago. Next, any of you who aren't aware of the fact that the comment system is broken in the first place, but really broken right now, depending on what day of the week it is and whether you're posting from a phone or not, um, you're noobs, you should know this. Next, if you went off the handle and that's it, great, say so, and then apologize and take down your videos on both sides. Two, if you're being blackmailed, back channel it to everybody. Next, uh, to the angel who's being threatened, thank you very much for having a lot of strength there. And thank you for maybe helping take out the uh, the server a way I didn't think of. And for being a friend to a certain flaming dragon. Now as for those privacy complaints, they're all gone. I can't find them anymore. There's only one left and uh, it's been more than the period of time where they would consider it a privacy complaint. I did blank the picture of the guy because he wasn't the subject of the story. The guy in orange. Uh, if you're the guy in orange, you have to comment underneath here, it won't be visible, unless I choose to make it visible, that yeah, you're the one who filed the privacy complaint. And you have to include a screenshot of what you sent. Because you can. Because you have to. Because I'm assuming that you stupidly let a criminal, who used to live in Britain, do it for you. Because I'm going to throw that in until you disconfirm it. You have to disclaim that. And you have to prove it. Not, not, not in a brew fake professor. You have to actually prove that you're the one who filed it against me. That's fine if you did. That's appropriate. Actually, for once in your life, it was an appropriate flagging. But if you let the other idiot do it for you, I'm going to find out. And I'm going to use that as ammo. Peace.